All right, what is up, y'all? We are back on Coastal Carolina Dynasty. Today is a special episode simply because, uh, if you might notice, we are in the next season. Basically said, screw it, simulated week by week and scouted the rest of last year. And we brought in some good people. Overall, we did go eight and five and we won like the 69 Ventures Bowl, which is pretty good for simming. But yeah, our school is now an 81 overall, I think, from it being like a 75 last year. So a big jump, but I we did a lot better and I feel like this year is going to be our breakout year. First, before anything, I want to take a look at our schedule this year. We're in 81 flat, which is really cool. We play Virginia this week, Utah, and then East Carolina, and then a double bye, which I believe that Virginia and East Carolina we can handle. I don't know about Utah. We might get smacked, but I don't know. Then South Alabama, UL Monroe, Old Dominion, Marshall, James Madison, Georgia Southern, App State, in South Carolina, which I thought is sweet, and then Georgia State. I was thinking, oh, this schedule is going to be easy. I feel like we can run the SBC. Um, well, until I got down to South Carolina, which I think could be a great rivalry game if we continue to get better. Um, South Carolina is obviously in South Carolina. Same thing with Coastal Carolina. So, and also, Coastal Carolina doesn't have a real rival. So I believe that creating a fictional rival like this could be awesome at the end of the year. But yeah, obviously it's not an SBC game because they're not in the Sun Belt. But same thing with Eastern Carolina and all of these three games. So really it doesn't matter until we get to week six and then we take on all the conference games. Because obviously winning your conference right out is easily one of the best things you can do for recruits. But yeah, this can be an even better season than last year, seeing how we went eight and five. Now I want to take a look at the... Um, the team because I really think that we've improved so much looking at quarterbacks We obviously have Ethan Vasco Roquan Barber is our backup. He was last year and then we did bring in Alex Bolin and Ross McClendon which are not bad the this dude right here Being a 95 speed quarterback We could probably we could potentially put him anywhere else like anywhere like he doesn't have good strength at all and uh, His throw power. Oh my god. He has 95 throw power. I forgot his accuracies are actually really good. I really just don't know what's holding him down. This could be a, a very good player for us in the future. I feel like we, we need to get him on the field somehow. He has great stats like that. Man, I feel like we could play him somewhere else. Then running backs. Um, obviously, we have Christian Washington from last year. He's only a junior. And then Javin Simpkins. But the real person I want to look at is... Where is he at? Right here, DJ Clifford. He is our recruit we brought in 90 speed 96 acceleration I actually wanted to look at uh, Jabari Kui, Kui Kendall he is really fast for us he's gonna be our third down back for now he's only a sophomore so he can develop a lot more receivers haven't changed that much sadly but uh, we did bring in three pretty good receivers they are 60s overall but Tony Steinbach is gonna be a difference maker for us he is our fastest receiver we have besides Dave Gideon which Sorry, but there's just no room to play him. He's bad. But yeah, he's going to be our slot guy, and everybody else looks to be pretty good. Tight end, we have James or Kane Barong as last year. He is a senior, but our probably our biggest recruit was Devin McWilliams, a underrated four-star. But the only thing bad about him is he is a blocking tight end. Our line is actually really good uh, with stuff getting moved around. We have a lot of good uh, centers that are playing out of position. Like all these, uh, these two backup centers are playing our guards, which in in uh, college it, it's happens a lot more than in the NFL. So yeah, right tackle, uh, probably our biggest recruit yet is our Sam Fuada. He's huge. He's gonna be great for us in the future. Actually, let's take a look at the depth chart because I already ordered the depth chart and how I want people to play. So let's take a look at the depth chart. Left end we got Jeff Bolden. Uh, Right end, we have Caden Beasley, and then our D tackles are really good. Luke Rogers is going to be huge for us. He is a sophomore, and same thing with Matt Cicciano. I don't know how to say that. We also brought in Matt Woodley, one of our better recruits. Wyatt Gideon as our uh, right outside linebacker. The thing about middle linebacker is that Troy Brown is easily the best running or the best uh, middle linebacker we have, but he has 77 speed. We did bring in this freshman, Alex Sowles. He is a pass coverage guy and he has 84 speed, but he is a 67 overall. So I don't know how that's gonna go. You got Zach Spears, 
And then cornerbacks haven't changed much. Only freshmen are playing are these two that look pretty good. They're pretty fast. We have pretty fast corners. And then our safety are Charles Arnold and probably one of our best players on the team, Dre Pinkney. Kicker will stay the same. Our senior, we did bring in Paul McCaskill, but he's just not good enough. Mac West as our punter. And then our kick returner is going to be Tony Steinbach, which he is basically our fastest receiver. He's the most shiftiest. I was thinking about putting the like the returner as maybe Cody Kendall because he is our fastest player on our team, almost. But yeah, I really want to get the uh, one quarterback involved so badly. Like Alex Bolin has a chance to do a lot of things, and I just think that he, he can. He has the potential to be really good. I mean, I just can't. I can't step away from Ethan Basco. He's been great for us so far. So unless he struggles, we're going to keep him. I want to take a look at what uh, happens if we put Alex Bolin at a different position. Because he is super good. Um, I just want to see what happens if we switch his uh, position around. If he can play anything for us. Okay, sorry. I paused my uh, my recording to change Bolin's uh, position. But what I was saying is he's just going to have to play quarterback. He's just not there yet for any other position. He is meant to play a quarterback, especially with that 95 throw power. So yeah, I think he's going to stay there behind Ethan Vasco until we need him sometime. But yeah, before we get into our first game, let's take a look at our recruits. I did just jump the gun on a lot of five stars, and not many of them are interested at all. The only people that are really interested in me is uh, four-star receiver Alex Prather, which doesn't look that good, only 89 speed. And then Richard Crow, I really want, but I just don't think we're going to get him. He has 98 speed. He's an athlete. He has 90 throw power. I thought he'd be cool at any position we play. But yeah, uh, three-star Lamar ne uh, Keel is always good. I don't care how bad he is. We're jumping the gun on him. We're almost going to get him. Then we have a three-star halfback, Sean Huey, only 80, 86 speed, but he is a power back. He'd be a great goal line back. Cliff Moses is, even though he is a kind of bad player he's a 93 speed and he's an athlete I'll take that speed for anybody any day going after a fullback for no reason and then another athlete this scrambler archetype he has 91 speed again they're athletes they can play anywhere they're not just stuck to quarterback kind of close to this four-star Jermaine Owens he is a gem 86 speed he looks to be great same thing with this Brett Griffin he looks good but yeah I don't want to bore you on um scouting for too early in the season let's just get into the game and probably for the first time in a while we are better than the team we're playing it is at virginia but we're just barely better to them than them uh let's get into the game i think the unis are perfectly fine let's get into it oh i miss those unis i haven't played a game with them in a while and i am so excited man kicking off first and that stadium is big playing against a pretty good quarterback anthony Col colandria I don't know how to pronounce his name. I'm not going to need to, though. And Troy Brown now has a... Oh, my God. Yeah, get in there. Maybe Trey Brown should start for us. Good tackle, Pinkney. Okay, early third down in nine. Hopefully, we can get a little three and out and get momentum on our side. What the... What are you doing? What happened? Oh my god, what the fuck happened? I don't know how that happened. Okay, well, uh, we're giving up big plays just like that, and now we're down seven. Here's Steinbeck, take a look at him. A little taller than I thought. Good juke. Stadium is shaking. And our third down running back should not be Kendall. I don't know why he's in there. Let me take a look at that real quick. Oh, Co Coy Kendall, I didn't see it. That's Yeah, that's our person. I don't like the off tackle. I'd like to get like a draw in or something. Oh, good break. Tackle Steinbach gets the first down. Okay, freshman. I didn't mean to throw that. I, I pressed the wrong button, I swear. I pressed the wrong button. Are you kidding me? I meant to, I thought, thought the running back was triangle. Oh my fucking God. And I wish I could go back because I really didn't mean to do that at all. Tackle him. Oh, we're digging. I'm digging myself in a hole. This is completely my fault. Man, that sucks. Okay, just hopefully we can stop him here and limit the damage to maybe a field goal or something. 
Pick! User lurk! Maybe you're not slow. Okay, you are pretty slow, but I don't care. Go! Go, Trey Brown! Hell yeah! Trey Brown, the senior linebacker, is setting the tone for us defensively. And, dude, that's, that was instant. Okay, just take off, Vasco. Get some yards. Do it again, Vasco. Do it again. Get that first down. Hell yeah, Vasco. Go. Go, Steinbach. Go. Get your speed out here. Hey. Hell yeah, Steinbach. Dude, our line. Come on, guys. You, he didn't even get touched. Please. If we're going to score, we need to block. Go, Washington. Make some yards up. There we go. Like, if I don't get instant pressure, we can, like, we're, we can move the ball. It's just the pressure, man. Don't fumble. Don't fumble! God damn! I thought we weren't supposed to fumble every time we touched. We got hit. Please! God damn! Oh, my God, dude. I don't understand what's so difficult about this shit. Everybody literally said that. Oh my god, they they fixed fumbling in this game. Like I don't under fucking I fucking don't understand. I actually don't. Wrap up. Oh fuck, he put me in a fucking spin cycle. God damn it. Oh yeah, fucking Trey Brown is saving our ass right now. One stop. One stop. One stop. Thank you. Let's go. Perfect. Get a blocker. Hell yeah, Steinbeck. He's doing it all and we're gone. Tucker. That is all because of Steinbach. Steinbach threw that block perfectly. The freshman is impressing me. Oh my. Okay, we're on the board, finally. Let's get fucking... Let's go. Oh my god. Troy Brown. Or Trey Brown, sorry. You're an animal. And Swiss cheese. Our cornerbacks are kind of ass. Okay, big play like that. Carson Gay. Yeah, that was really gay of you, dude. Maybe we can catch him off guard in a blitz here. Okay, end of the first quarter. 7-7, seven to seven, and they are really close to scoring again. I mean, we're doing good when we don't turn the ball over. 124 passing yards and 168 passing yards in one quarter by both of them is insane. Okay, our, oh my god, scored. Go Steinbach, go! Hell yeah, freshman. That's how you fucking move, bro. Should I run it here? I'm running it here. I'm running it here. Don't blow up, don't blow up. They don't have any good linemen. Right here, come on. Yes, sir. Good shit, that's all we needed. Go. Go, Coy Kendall. Okay, wrong way. Steinbach over the middle. Go. Go. Oh, so close to the one, Steinbach. Here we go. No, I, I pressed the throw out of... My God, dude. I'm really liking this. I'm really liking this RPO right here. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Go! 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 Yes, sir, Coleman! Yes, sir! We're tied up. We're all tied up now. <gasps> Pick! Arnold! Go! Pick six! He jumped it! Hell yeah! Charles Arnold! Hell yeah! Field goal is good. And just like that, we took a big jump. Third and 16. No way. No way. Oh, okay, yes way, I guess. No! Oh, fourth and inches! Hey, I'm going to do punt safe, man. Because I don't know if they're actually going to punt it. But okay. Go, Steinbach. Spin! Oh my god, Steinbach, you're a goat. Almost 100 yards for Steinbach already. Oh my god. Insane. How did you catch that? 
Ethan Vasco a year ago. Go, Vasco, or Steinbach. Go! Down to the two again. RPO jet slide. I think this might be a little shovel pass to Mick Williams. It was! Oh my god, the linemen were so downfield. It was insane. Easy. Coleman with another touchdown. We're up two scores, almost at half. Tackle him. Third and inches. Or something like that. I forget. Oh, he caught it. They called a timeout. Second and goal at the two. It's pinch. Oh, okay. They got it. Go, Steinbach. Oh, bad throw. Oof. 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 Give me a block, give me a block. Hell yeah, go. They're trying to get to it. Caught. Whoa, whoa! Tucker! Catch the ball! Okay, half 28 21. We do get the ball at half, which is great. But uh, yeah, let's get into it. Okay, let's get a little jet touch past uh, Steinbach. They start this third quarter with the lead, but they might want to think about shoring up that protection. Yeah, the good news is you're leading on the scoreboard. The bad news is your quarterback. I think we're playing great with how bad the stadium pulse is going. Uh, 100%. Just, you, you can't get him hit that much. He's still doing a good job delivering the football. Steinbach. Oh, stop taking hits, buddy. Your wear and tear is going straight down, dude. He wants to throw it. Go, Steinbach. Not Steinbach, Vasco. Go, get out of bounds. Hell yeah. Okay, I'm liking, I'm liking this outside run to the left. Good job. Steinbach, go. Dive! Oh, how do you get down to the one again, dude? You're missing out. Is this RPO peak zone bubble? What? RPO peak zone bubble? Hell yeah! Madden a fucking Madden 20 OG ass shit right there. Madden fucking RPO peak zone bubble is crazy. Even though Steinbach isn't the highest rated receiver on our team, just you can see what difference he makes as like a, what a difference the four star makes as a fucking in this small of a program you know what i'm saying I'm, i hope you know what i'm saying okay they've been moving the ball slowly but here's a third and six they're going on hurry up spreading it out let's cover the flats here oh yeah that's fucking swiss cheese right there they're moving it slowly which i can care less for because i mean it's draining a lot of clock so whatever another third and two but again they're draining And, oh, we tried jumping it. They score, I guess. Jet touch pass right here. Come on. Go. 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 Go, Steinbach. Go. Go. One play. Steinbach. I read that shit like a book. Big play. What's the trophy? 80 plus yard pass and touchdown. Steinbach, you're a goat. I just accidentally caught a timeout because I'm so excited. Holy shit, Steinbach. Quite actually a legacy freshman game right here. Steinbach might actually be the next fucking uh, Marvin Harrison Jr. for us. And just like that, back up two touchdowns. They cannot stop our offense. Oh, Trey Brown, our middle linebacker is hurt. Damn it, dude. Oh, he fucking, t he burned us. Our corners need some help. Oh, fuck. Steinbach, uh, touch pass might actually be illegal. This, the, it's, it's too good. It's too good. It's too good. Hell yes, Steinbach. Okay, fourth quarter. Start of the fourth quarter. It's a one-score game still, so if I mess up at all, I mean, it's still a huge game. But Ethan Vasco is actually going crazy right now, so I have no, I have like, besides that pick six, I mean, he's just been perfect. Oh, goy, go, goy! It's fucking turned Asian. 
Time box too fast. Get, go down, go down. You don't need any more hits. Quite literally almost 300 yards for Steinbach is actually crazy with 12 catches. Like, it's not going to be soon. It's not going to be uh, uh, that much time till he's number one receiver. Take her yards, take her yards. Why'd I throw that? Why'd I throw that? Why? 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 No! 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 Pick six from a, a hundred yard pick six is crazy. Oh my god, how how did I let that happen, dude? Why did I throw that? Why did I ever think that was a good idea? God damn it. Uh, well now now it's tied up. Like I said, we're so good on offense besides the freaking turnovers, man. That's just a stupid that is a stupid decision by me. Just keep running. They can't stop the drag. Go, Vilma. Go down. Ooh, okay, crucial, crucial third down. I'm going to throw it away. No way that's intentional grounding. I'm outside the pocket. Okay, fourth and 23. We're going to have to punt it away. We're going to we're gonna have to uh, defend in our defense. All tied up now. Fourth quarter, we, we kind of sold this game. Fucking get off a block, guys. God damn, we suck. Tackle him! What are you doing? You're fucking sitting there watching him run. God damn it. Oh my god, my team's so fucking ass. We shouldn't be losing this shit. Nothing we can do now. It's... We're down a score. Okay. Barong, what are you doing? Catch the fucking football. Go, Vilma. Go. God damn me, you're slow. Could have broke that out, but good play. Okay, the smart thing to do is to not to score with not much time on the clock, but I don't know how that's going to happen. Step up, in, step up in the pocket. Get that first down. Good shit. No way! I put it upwards! I put it up! No way! I literally play make it up! How do you fucking throw it that low? Stop him! Yes, 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 okay, okay. No, no timeouts left. They're running shoe clock. We have a chance. Oh my god, Vasco, hit him, please! He's fucking wide open. Oh, uh, why did I not get out of bounds? Okay, I took the yards because we're gonna go for it, obviously, if we don't get it. Right here, right here, right here, guys, right here. All we need, all we need, right here. No! How? Fucking how? Okay, that's the game. Oh, that's that's aggravating. That's really aggravating. But let's take a look at the stats. Ethan Vasco, great. I mean, fucking great game if you don't look at the interceptions. Almost 600 yards is actually crazy. Um, but just those two pick sixes is what lost us the game. You take away two touchdowns for them and we win it. It's simple as that. Uh, rushing, Ethan, there's not, there was not much. We didn't rush as much in general anyways. Uh, Tony Steinbach basically carried this team, uh, just simply his route running. Uh, but we threw five touchdowns. One went to uh, Steinbach, one went to Tucker, uh, two went to DeAndre Coleman, and one went to Javin Simpkins. Uh, I mean, gr great, great game on 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 paper, but man, I don't know, man. Uh, Charles Arnold and Trey Brown both got picks, but man, that just that stings because we had them for the entire game, man. Okay, but that's going to be it for today's video, guys. We, we play number two Utah next, and that's probably not going to be much better. So, that's about it, guys. See ya.